One of the joys about today is, I don't have to say a real lot, um, because the team did all the talking this year. And um, I just want to make a couple of special mentions of, of that team and what I thought was so special about it. We won 22 out of 27 games in the season, which is a great record, certainly the most number of games that I've won in one football season. Um, we, um, at one stage, I think we had 10 players missing from the team on a, on a night that we played the Cowboys with origin commitments and players having buys and, sorry, not being able to play for us, whatever. Um, and it kind of epitomised the season because at lots of stages we had lots of players missing and uh, just somebody else in the squad put his hand up and carried the baton for us and, and went forward. And that was to continue throughout the season. Uh, we took two 50-point losses. Um, that is difficult to overcome. But to their credit, again, they, they came out, overcame those issues. Everybody else in the game thought we had lost our way and all opportunities. But again, they were resilient, uh, they were committed, and um, we moved on. And then we got towards the playoffs, and uh, we lost one of the great players of the game. And I think that night, you know, there was a great deal of pain amongst us all. Uh, we knew what he bought for us. We know how much he knows how important he is to us. He knows how much we care about him. And nobody blamed me for what happened, but it just happened. And we had to bear the consequences of that. Um, no one looked over their shoulder. Uh, we got grabbed young Taff Lake and we just put him in the team and said, mate, you can do this job. He played one full game, I think, of NRL. And he was outstanding for us for the next five or six weeks. But he was only outstanding because of the men around him. Because in that group of men, there's some really special people. And they make you feel so important. They make you feel part of that joint and part of the club, part of the team. And that's led by the captain, who I think you know is a magnificent player. And I, I think he probably had one of his best seasons ever this year for us. Um, <laughs> Damien's there as well, uh, who's a real um, stabling influence on everybody. A lot of calmness about him. Uh, Cody, who's um, you know has cares as much as anybody I've ever coached and, and is um, just great around the playing group. Uh, we brought Cam into the group this year as well because we could see his development and uh, to go forward and then uh, Latrell was there in that group and then Benji came in as well and Benji just added a little bit more to all the things that we had there because he's um, great with his own leadership within the group and that was the thing that was the core for us this season, that group of men that held everybody together. Uh, Cody hardly missed a game if he missed any at all. Um, um, Adam only missed one, and so we were pretty lucky with those type of players. So, and I've got to say, you know, Taft played like he did in, in that playoff series because of the, because of their leadership around him, because of the because of the confidence that they give him and the belief they had in him. So, pretty special year, and um, we did fail at the last hurdle. But I, I again, you know, from the time I was a young coach to today, I, I've always wanted. There's two things I've always wanted. I've always wanted my teams to play within the spirit of the game, because I, I love the game. And uh, there is a spirit about our game. And you've got to understand that spirit. And, and there's a price you've got to pay for that. And the second thing that I love about the teams that I coach, they just won't give up. It's not in our DNA. And that grand final epitomised us. It epitomised what South Sydney was about, what my coaching's been about. Uh, we were beaten time and time again in that game, but we just refused to be beaten. And, and we fought back and we came back into the game and be beaten by two points at the end, I can handle that. Um, but more importantly, it was just the manner in which we, which we handle ourselves and makes them a pretty special group of men that I've been really, really proud to be a part of. <laughs> just a couple of people back home watching games, uh, watching tonight here rather, or this afternoon, that um, I just want to say good day to Mario and Beck. Um, He's spilt more blood and sweat than most players have in the history of South Sydney. And uh, I know he'd be watching. I know he's a great fan of mine. He was very supportive of me when I arrived. Uh, Shannon Donato, I've been missing his lunches. Um, I'll just say good day to Shannon and all the staff back there that have uh, supported us here. You know, we came away thinking we'd probably go on for a month. Uh, we've gone for 84 days now. And, um, but we did a great, uh, great staff. Um, they, they led the way with all of this. 
and uh, the players followed suit and the partners arrived and the wives and, and families and that really put the icing on the cake for us and it's been a, an extremely happy time for us all and uh, we've played some of our best football through this period of time. So we have no excuses, uh, we did our best and as a coach that's all you ask for, you ask them to do their best. Just a couple of staff matters I want to uh, finish with. Um, I want to thank Mark. He's been uh, in the office with me the whole time of three years here. He's a really stable bloke, um, loves the club, loves its history, and he keeps me in check and makes sure that you know we, we don't get, ourse get ahead of ourselves. Brock is a tremendous administrator, and um, if the game realises how much ability he's got, South Sydney will lose him. Uh, but the game's not that smart, uh, <laughs> so that's probably not going to happen. Uh, to our CEO, um, I've got a great relationship with him. Uh, I find him a um, great person. Uh, and again, you know, the, the one thing that comes through is m with me, I, I don't like drama queens. I like people that are calm under pressure because that's what we live under pressure. It's every day of, of our life virtually. And um, he epitomises that. He's calm all the time and keeps it together. I'd like to think, uh, thank, thank uh, Nick, our chairman. Never saw much of him. He's the least of a chairman I've ever seen in my life. But he asked me to one board meeting a year and I forgot the last one I was supposed to go to. Um, uh, but that's my type of board. They just stay away from me, let me do my job. And uh, I've got to say to his credit and the board and all of them, uh, they've been wonderful. To Russell, um, I just love his passion. He really cares about his club. And uh, he's been great to work with. Um, tried to tell me a couple of times about players I should pick and shouldn't. But uh, that was okay. That's his prerogative. We worked through that matter. I got the team I, I, got the team I wanted uh, and we're still friends. Um, one person I have missed enormously has been Sam Burgess. Um, I work with a lot of great people but he's as good as me and I've ever worked with him. Um, and Tom had an outstanding season this year. And the other guy is John Sutton. We're just sorry we couldn't bring him with us. But I wish he was here with us today. And then to my staff, um, to Ben and um, Jason, we spent a lot of time together. Uh, Jason's been with, with me for five years now. He's done his apprenticeship. He's ready to take South Sydney over. And I can tell you he'll do a great job for you. He's committed. And Ben, I was so pleased to be able to bring him to South Sydney. Um, he was a wonderful player for me at um, the Dragons. Uh, we won a premiership together there. He was a captain of the club, a bit like Adam. Uh, he had a calmness about him that I loved and he's still got that calmness. He gets a little pissed off every now and then, but otherwise he can hold it together. Uh, but he's a great attribute to the club and uh, I've loved having him around the place. He's, uh, he's honest with me. He tells me what he thinks and um, he knows I don't cop the bullshit real well and he doesn't go down that path. So. But we're in good hands, uh, that's what I'm telling you all. I've got a wonderful playing group. Uh, will we miss the players that are leaving? Yes, we will. Uh, but there'll be other young men will come along and they'll get opportunity and that's what this game's all about, is opportunity. And for me, um, well, there's no media here. Um, I have some decisions to make. Um, I just don't know what course it'll take at the moment, uh, but I just need some space. I'm gonna go home to the cows, uh, spend a couple of weeks with them. Um, that will sort my head out and um, if you read Peter Bedell you'll find out what I'm doing. <laughs> As he asked me more questions than anybody else. Um, and I'll leave you on this to the fans and, and the members. Uh, you know, love's a word we throw around a lot these days and sometimes it's very carelessly. But I have loved being South Sydney's coach because I've loved the fans. From the day that I went there they accepted me and uh, they embraced, embraced me. I hadn't, we hadn't even coached a game. And, um, and I know the players feel from all the time as well. And um, we're great fans and um, we're so lucky to have you all. And I know we made you proud this year and there'll be many more seasons that this club will make you proud. But thank you for your support and without you we don't have a game and we don't have these things that we play for. All the best to everybody. I look forward to when I see you again and wherever we may meet. Thank you. <laughs>